Well, generations of families here in Western New York spent part of their Thanksgiving today in service to others. One of those places that has received that generosity while helping their own community is St. Adalbert's Response to Love Center. And photojournalist Dooley O'Rourke shows us it's the volunteers who make it all work. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. 35 years on, Sister Mary Jonas has opened the doors to the St. Adalbert's Response to Love Center each Thanksgiving morning to feed a community that has seen change. It's a changing neighborhood. We have to vary the cultures that we serve. We have to educate with the ESL program, different foods for people. So it's a whole gamut of change. As with change, there are some things that remain the same. We have volunteers who come from the suburbs. We have volunteers from our neighborhood. People from all over really come and they come back and after a year, they bring another person with them. So we have about 90 volunteers here today. Volunteers like C.J. Moore. This is his third Thanksgiving helping out. Thank you. I come back because I love giving and I love having the nice conversations with people and I like hearing the stories. And their sisters, Maddie and Brooke Woodard. Well, she was seven and I was six. So I've been coming for nine years. Happy Thanksgiving. The girls discovered long ago that coming here each year has a value that no money could buy. Every single person that comes in and leaves, I may never see any of them again, but I still make a connection with them and it's a beautiful thing. And as long as there's a need at Thanksgiving, response to love and their volunteers will be there ready with a warm meal and a smile. And that is a beautiful thing. In Buffalo, Dooley O'Rourke, Channel 2 News.